so sometimes it will prompt you to download the app that the person that made the theme had but of course you can always change it to whatever you'd like i've done using all of these widgets so instead of you deleting them one by one you can just delete the entire page now lastly i'm going to add some folders so for this talk folder i'm actually going to make it my social media folder one way that you can do this is by creating a brand new folder here and then just using that icon on the folder so the way i'm going to do this is long pressing I'm going to go to add and I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to click the social media apps that I use the most and I'm going to add that into the folder. We're going to say my followers, Instagram, Snapchat, Tumblr, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest. So we're going to stick with those for now. You do get a folder that's made here for you. So if you want to change the icon of that, you just go to icon edit. And if you want to use one of the icons that are already on your home pack, you're going to hit applied click here this is going to show you all the icons that downloaded with your theme so i'm going to use talk i just think that relates pretty good to social media i'm going to do the same thing for this but this is going to be all of my picture editing stuff i'm going to go to new folder and then you're going to click on all the ones that you want to add so for me it's going to be these eight and then you'll have this new folder here again long press and go to icon change and then i'm going to change it to the icon that kind of looks like the instagram icon but it's not so i'm going to click that i'm going to hit apply and that is pretty much how i create my launcher so one suggestion i do have for choosing your icons is to make sure you only use icons for apps that you use the most also use widgets for the apps that you use the most depending on who you are i know for me i don't like when my launcher is super crowded i like when it's pretty simple pretty easy to use and get to another suggestion is to do what i did down here and group some of the common apps together i have this all in one folder instead of having eight icons somewhere on my screen for each one of these also for your widgets you want to use it for apps that are glance apps which is what i call them which are things that when you open your phone you just want to see it you don't want to have to scroll to a page and then click and open it so things like the weather i just want to see that right when i open my phone same with the time and the date that's something that i use pretty often i just want it to be right on the front screen if you're someone that needs to see their appointments or anything that they have planned for the day right away you can definitely add a calendar widget. This is just how I customize mine, but again, you can put whatever you want on this. You can pick whatever theme you want and definitely pick a theme that basically relates to the functionality that you want for your phone. Another tip when arranging your icons in your widget is to have theme pages. My theme for this page is basically secondary apps. So these are apps that I don't necessarily use every day, but I do use it multiple times in the week or maybe in the month. My main page, So sometimes it will prompt you to download the app that the person that made the theme had but of course you can always change it to whatever you'd like. I've done using all of these widgets so instead of you deleting them one by one you can just delete the entire page. Now lastly I'm going to add some folders so for this talk folder I'm actually going to make it my social media folder. One way that you can do this is by creating a long press and you can slide to the side. And there will be an option here that says upload or another way to get to there is by pinching the screen and hitting upload at the bottom. So once you're happy with it, you can definitely upload and you hit that and you're going to select the screens that you want to upload. Make sure when you do upload these, you don't have any sort of personal information on this because you can make it private, but if you make it public, anybody can see these pages. So you hit upload and it does ask you to put some things in. So I'm just going to put a little quick description and then you can choose what board you want to go to. Almost like Pinterest, you can make it go to specific board. When I do upload this video, it will be available for you guys. If you want to download this theme, it will be in the description box below. And then you do have to choose a category. So you let it upload. And this is basically like backing up your theme. So just in case you need it or you get a new phone or maybe if you want to put it on another one of your devices like your tablet, you can always just go to your profile and it'll upload it there. So it is going to show you what it looks like once you upload it. And that is pretty much it for a basic run through of how to use Buzz Launcher.